Okay, so we're now going to begin the assembly of the Jim Jim. <clears throat> and we're going to do this, of course, bit by bit based on the instructions that we see here. I'm not going to do an assembly of all three of them at the same time. We're just going to build one because they're pretty much all the, all the same. There's only just one slight difference, and that will be the head. And I'll show that in a few moments. So I began cleaning it up and reviewing the parts to make sure where to go with the painting. So I'm also reviewing how I'm going to remove parts so I can separately paint them and don't have to worry about me masking and all that stuff. That, of course, is subject to change. So first up, we take this part here and then this part. Put that right there, like so. Followed by this part here that goes right there. I'll put that to the side here. Now these parts here will represent the uh, shoulder armor or the the chest armor, but from both right and right and left. And before you put them together, you want to get this poly cap here into pos into position. This you need to um, be careful because you could put it in wrong. Make sure you have the clearance to do this, and then. Like this, put it together like so, and then put it back down like so. Same thing here, then close it up. Now this is basically the, you know, obviously the, the front part of the chest and then you have the, the actual, um, the actual vents, which is in yellow. Now, I did. I think I did say I was going to paint this in yellow, but I'm going to. I'm actually changing my mind um, as I go along. The vents. Make sure that the vents are pointing downwards, not upwards. And then push them in. Um, there's the possibility that I'm, if I take this thing apart, I'm going to have to find a way to remove this without damaging it. I don't want to push it in all the way because, but I'm going to have to do it either way so you guys can see this. And uh, sure enough, once this is all done, uh, I may not only do for this yellow, but the other yellow parts as well, which is very few and far between. With this, you want to put this one in here like so, and here like so, where the guide is. Then you take this part, this part here. Put that in like so. And then put this one right there. Followed by this going to here. And then take this, put this in here, the ball joint. And put that in like that. Cool. Very, very nice. Very poseable too. To a certain degree. Clearly this is designed to go like this, so that way it can do those unique poses and, and pulling up some unique tricks with the arms. And you have detail parts right there. I'm sorry, I just didn't realize that the battery died on my camcorder and I was talking and didn't realize, oh, what happened? Oh, nuts. Didn't, it ran out of battery and it ran out of um, um, space on my memory camera. On my memory card, I mean. But as you can see, the assembly of the torso is complete. And the assembly of the head. Which, I was saying that I'm going to have to remove... Once, um, there's two parts here, plus this, the uh, visor. Pull out the visor, of course, so that way I can paint the inside. And then I'm going to mask it off. So that way I can paint the remaining, part, re the remaining parts outside. This is the same thing with the GM custom head which I really like that little um, a, 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 um, a single um, sensor instead of multi, you know two sensors for the eyes and the this head which I always keep forgetting the uh, mono, mono, how you call it um, dome, D-O-M-E D -O -M -E, uh, head now the one thing about this is I'm going to mask off the this whole clear clear piece and leave the edges around it and of course here that separates it so I can you know I can paint it the other color 
and that's of course after after I uh, uh, finish painting the inside but we'll put this head here so we can show it off what the kit what this head looks like the uh, regular GM head right there that's pretty nice pretty good all right so let's let's now move on to the next part of the build all right so the next part will be the arms of the Jim Jim there's a lot of parts here that makes up the arms but it's very simple to build and not too complicated first up it's the shoulders right here so I three parts put that one here put this one here and there you go completes the shoulder and one thing about this is there's a seam line here which is also panel lining so you don't have to worry about it sanding it down but you do have to sand down some areas here and here also it's supposed it's different um, they're not both the same the back one has a a piece of uh, this you know piece of plastic sticking down while this one's sticking up so you pretty much can tell that this is the front part of the of the um, you know not the front part but yeah the front part of the shoulder so we put that to the side now we take this part followed by this and put that one here and you put that one there and then you cover it up with this Now, by covering it up with this, you do definitely have some areas that you could sand. So make sure you cover it up, you know, seal it up. Do light passes on sanding there, on here if you have to. Don't have any problems here, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, both of them do not look the same, as you can see. One has a longer peg, while this one has a shorter peg. And for this one, you want to take this poly cap, put this here. This represents the right arm. And the hole has to look like this. The reason why is because you want to grab the <clears throat> the I'm sorry, the right arm, but you want to grab the one with the hole to the side, and then align it up properly. Find the groove that's here, and that's it. it goes in all the way. And then take this, close it up like so. Now, I've run into some issues, which I don't know why I'm seeing this. I may have to look into sanding some parts. But in certain arms, when you close this up, this part of the arm, it doesn't go all the way in. I have a few arms that does clo close all the way in, so just be mindful. It could be this. I don't know if there's an excess part there. I will check that out soon enough. But definitely, I'm going to look into not only closing this properly, but gluing it because there's these two notches here that you do have to sand down here and I believe here and a portion there it's kinda hard to see because of all the white for now we're just gonna put this together so you can, can see this doesn't matter which position this one goes so put it in like that you take this part stick it in like so and then put that here the hand is very you know very very delicate in one way because you may end up losing this so put this part in first and then you have this part that connects to two notches here and it stays there stays in nice and put there we go uh, once you get that in there just put it in like this there you go the arms of the gym gyms are done. Get in there. Didn't go all the way in, or just. And cool that this part you can actually bend the hand, the uh, the wrist like this to get this pose. Very nice. It, it'd be nice if this was if they had a separate type of hands or a different type of hands, like an open hand or a palm. But for now, I, I'm digging how this looks. The one thing, of course, is. Um, for like for me to prepare for painting if I can get this part glued up and sealed up and so that way it doesn't show the seam lines I can remove this and maybe remove this let's see if it works 
No, it doesn't. I forgot. There's that notch there. Ooh. Alright, so I guess maybe that's not going to be a good idea. Mm, I could always remove the notch. And then just slide it in and allow and just glue it on once it's complete. Probably a good idea to do that. I'll have to experiment that soon. Alright, so the arms are complete. Let's now move on to the next part of the build. So the next part of the build will be the legs of the Jim Jims. And uh, surprisingly, even though there's a lot of parts here, like the arms, um, they really did a good job in the construction of these. And you can barely see any um, panel lining or discrepancies during the assembly. And I'll, and I'll show you in a moment. So first thing we'll need is this leg. This foot, I mean, excuse me. Poly cap. Put that through here. Let's put this in like so. Simple. The foot is easy. Very easy to build. <coughs> the only complicated complicated part would be this. And you may want to and let me pull this onto the side a bit. I'm going to partially assemble this. And keep it like that so I can sand down the nubs there, sand down the nubs there, and here, just a little bit. Alright, so that takes care of that. We'll just take it apart, easy. Then we we'll take this part here, stick that right there. And then snap it into place with this one. <coughs> now I don't have to worry about this, and I'm going to show you in a minute. So we take the thigh, and there's some. Um, when you remove this, there's a little notch there and there. You can easily sand it down. You can barely see it. But once you put it through here, it goes like that. So that completes the upper thigh, um, the upper thigh armor. Then we have this part. This part goes there. Followed by this one that goes here. And then this one that goes like that. This should snap into place like so. So it looks like that. Take this poly cap here, put it through here. And we take this one. This is the uh, part of the foot assembly. Make sure that this hole is facing forward. Put that there. Now we take this. Put that like that here. This. Put like that here. Cover up like so. And then we take this. Put that here. This pretty much seals the leg. Now you have these little holes here, which is actually perfect for customization of uh, other, you know, um, excess parts that you can put on. But for now, we're going to put this on this here to cover it up. Oops. Come on, there we go. This is ingenious for on Bandai's part to do something like this. Now, before we put these on together, we want to put this here and this here. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, you you don't have to worry about this because it's part of the frame here. But um, if you want to paint, if you you know, you definitely want to take this apart so you can paint it. All right, so that completes the left leg and here is the right all nicely done <clears throat> this is actually really nice because you can take you could take these apart like there is that polycop there that you can take it out and then put it back in again so you don't have to worry about masking of uh, this leg 
taking these two parts is easy, taking this part is easy. You can leave this whole frame alone, or if you want to take this whole thing apart so you can paint it separate, is a good idea for you know two tone um, paint jobs. Um, the part of the foot, the plastic part, that gray part can be removed as well. This can be removed, so this can be easily taken apart, but not completely where you can actually work on it and paint it. Just clean up a bit here and here, and you should be fine. So. That completes the legs of the Jim Jim. Let's move on to the next part of the build.